Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another special match. This time we're going to be having a match between Cuba and Exploit on Onyx Cauldron. This will be interesting. I do very much like this map, so we'll see how... And we'll see why, <laughs> I'm sure, in just a moment. But if you haven't watched this before, why I really like this map. Although I should also point out once again that there is a 1v1 tournament next week. Our monthly tournament which for July is going to be one, is going to be on the 26th, most likely at 9 a.m. UTC, so like 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and 9 a.m. in Britain, 10 a.m. in Germany, somewhere in that area, maybe 11 a.m. I'm not sure exactly how it works for daylight savings. But anyway, that is going to be the time. And most likely, the date is definitely going to be July 26th. That is next Saturday. Sign up on the forums and get in and compete for... Kudos. That's really all it's competing for, but hey, why not? Nothing to lose, really, so there's that. But on to the game. So Cubay is starting out in the northwest side of the map, going for a spider factory, which is a little unusual, but given how many cliffs this map has, that's not terribly unusual. While Exploit, on the other hand, going for a Kalubot factory. A bit more typical, though this map, this map supports every factory, pretty much. Because it's big enough that vehicles are viable, also flat enough, while still having enough hills that Clokybot and Spiderbot has some chance. I mean, they are not completely useless. They're not going to be completely w taken out because spiders have hills they can go off of. And Clokies just have more they can walk on easily than vehicles do. But they're also slower, so the vehicles have more of a chance to cross the size of the map. But it's not so big that, and it's not so flat that the vehicles dominate. So it's a really nice, really nice balance between all the factory types. And of course, amphibs and hovers have the water to take advantage of. Not the deepest water, but still it exists. And yeah, just the design of the map. It's big enough to be interesting while small enough to not be dominated entirely by vehicles and completely nullify the use of any units other than glaives. So fleas coming in, and we don't actually have a Venom switch quite yet. There are fleas set up for Cubay for scouting purposes, but he has not switched to Venoms yet. Or they, rather. They have not switched to Venoms yet. They're still going for Weavers, a couple Weavers. One of them, one of those Weavers not... Surprisingly, going out to expand over the northeast, or possibly expand over the center here. Nope, staying in the base. Two Weavers, however, are going to go out to expand together. Waiting for that second Weaver. And it looks like Cubay is just building up economy, not bothering to build up units, just letting that, letting all that money go into economy. Which is actually a pretty wise thing to do a lot of the time. It's something that you see high-level players doing a fair amount of, but low-level players not so much. Or low- to mid-level players not so much. It's a little tricky to understand when to do it. But, yeah, when you are trying to build up economy, don't build units. Just put all of your money into economy. It's really handy that way. Really useful. And Cubay, just double checking, he can, in fact, see this expansion here, but that's about it. Not much else can be seen. Cubay doesn't even know what is in Exploit's base. Knows Exploit's going for a Clickabout factory as a result of the Glaives, but ultimately doesn't know what Exploit's exactly doing. Not missing much, though. And unfortunately, the Weavers did go down to a Glaive. Both Weavers go down, and the Defender as well. This Glaive for Exploit totally missed that, but did a really good job here. And more Weavers coming in for Cubay. More energy as well. Actually, Cubay at this point could start building units while building economy. At this point, there are enough resources that both can be done simultaneously without stop one stopping the other. Not yet happening, though. And Cubay is actually going to spot out one of the Conjurers. One of the Glaives, however, is going to spot a Flea. That Flea is about to go down. And there it goes. But this flea over here should be able to get rid of the Conjurer fairly easily. Now Cuba with his pair of Weavers and no further units either. Okay, Cuba at this point does need to start building units, not paying attention to the factory. The more units need building. Cuba, however, now does have Radar, which is good. And also getting rid of the Conjurer over to the southwest, so knows that Exploit was going over to the southwest, gets rid of the Conjurer. Exploit has no units to defend that. So that Conjurer goes down. Wait, what? No, it doesn't go down. The Conjurer just run, runs away. Cubay not paying attention to that at all. However, this Conjurer over here, over to the southwest, also running away. Yeah, these fleas... Okay, this flea is being paid attention to. Getting rid of the Conjurer. And we'll be able to go to the Metal Extractor too. This flea, however, knows about the Conjurer, but isn't getting rid of it. So Cubay is actually a little bit behind economically. More aggressive expansion by Exploit, and that raiding earlier on, too, was really useful over to the northeast or north center. Got rid of the Weavers. That was an extremely useful raid. 
And the Glaive coming back here will be able to, will be taken out by the Defender. It's not going to do much, unfortunately. That, that got a lot of value out of it, but did die ultimately. And now that Flea getting hit by the Defender that it did not stop and... Well, not prevent the construction of by killing off the Conjurer. A little unfortunate there, but it does... Well, it does come back to bite it. Or blow it up into pieces, as the case may be. Now we finally have the Venom switch for the Cubay, and... Pure Venom at this point, no Venom red back. Venom over to the northeast to just protect this expansion, though it's pretty well protected as is. And Venom in the center as well. Venom with Lotus and Commander support. This is a Beam Laser Commander as well. But unfortunately that Venom does go down. Fortunately though, it gets rid of the Glaze in the process. Exploit. Still not doing a whole lot of raiding, but Cubay doesn't have a whole lot of energy thanks to the Wind Generators. Exploit going entirely for Solar Collectors on this map, that's... Well, if you're not going on these hilly areas off to the side, that is not a bad idea. The Wind Generators, as you can see, 0.3 is their minimum. Not really worth it, unless somewhere around 0.7 or 0.9, I think, I think it's somewhere in that area, is the minimum. Wind Generators are not worth it compared to Solar Collectors. That's kind of the rule of thumb. It's given thoughts. However, Exploit gone for a fusion reactor really quickly, getting double overdrive as a process as a result of that process, but not getting any caretakers yet. That's really surprising. Building up a fair amount of economy over to the east and over to the southwest, but now they're really pushing in a lot of metal, or getting in a lot of metal, not actually using a whole lot of it. Getting an energy transmission pylon to send this over here, which is a good idea, but even then. Caretakers! Build caretakers in the Cloakabot factory! Cubay does not have caretakers either, but... Actually, Cubay could use those too. And has switched... No, for the, more, more and more weavers. Getting a lot of weavers. And more wind generators as well. The wind generators have finally picked up. The wind speed is getting up there right now. So, Cubay getting a little lucky, but even then... Cubay still is way down when it comes to energy. Metal's okay, but energy is not. And as well as map control, Exploit has taken most of the map. I wonder if Cuba is actually going easy on Exploit, just realizing Exploit is not that good. I don't know, I think Cuba might be... He might be going easy on Exploit here. He might be sandbagging it, I don't know, we'll... I mean, we'll see. Cuba is playing a little bit weird, just... The use of wind generators when they're getting 0.3 at minimum is kind of surprising. As well as the fact that he... They're going primarily for Weavers. Why is Cubay going primarily for Weavers? They should be going for Venoms and Recluses. Or Venoms and Redbacks, I mean. Possibly Recluses later on. Like, Venom Redback is really powerful. But they're not doing that, and Exploit is taking most of the map. Unless Cubay is just like, partially sandbagging, and then we'll end up building storage. Okay, seriously, Cubay? You, you're really trying to give Exploit a chance. I can see that. I mean, good sportsmanship and all. I agree. Kind of wish I was told that this wasn't the most serious of games before I picked it up, because it was talked about, but oh well. Anyway, Exploit... Talk about what he's doing, because... Exploit's hardest. Or their hardest, rather. The Exploit had some good raids early on with the Glaives, and is... Well, getting map control now. At this point, Exploit doing a decent job defending, though the number of defenders is a little low. The amount of units over the southwest is kind of low. The northeast is actually going to be torn apart by the... Well, not by the Weaver so much, but... There's a Venom in behind that will come in to tear it apart. And normally you would have, at this point, Venom, Redback, and quite a bit of that being used. There is an Air Switch, however, into Ravens, and Cubay, I think, is going to take that more seriously. Well, Fleas coming in as well, so Cubay going for another screen of scouting. Trying to figure out what's going on. Loses the Venom to... Sorry, uses the Fleet of one of the Defenders. And flee over to the northeast as well. We'll have a bit of a problem. This Lotus will take it out. But still, that northeast is pretty solidly exploits. An exploit going for Rocco's. And Rocco's are the counter for Spider Bot Factory, by the way. Rocco's, if you're facing Spider Bot Factory, you want to use Rocco's. Glaives aren't too bad. In large enough numbers, they can tear apart the Venoms. But the Venoms do have Splash Stun. So <laughs> Glaives are a really risky strategy. Whereas Rocco's just stay out of the way. And that is fine. That's really fine. If you, if you stay out of the way, if you don't get close to the Venoms, then it's not a problem. And Glaive's coming in, just going in to die. However, Exploit is... He's actually... Or they're actually in pretty good spot. These Glaives are going to be able to get rid of the Venom. Enough Glaives were there, and they were spread around the Venom nicely. That does the trick. Gets rid of that one Venom. 
And another Venom over here. Actually, not a Venom, a Faraday. A Faraday for Exploit to help get rid of these Weavers with the help of the Lotus. But unfortunately, all it's doing now is slowing things down, which is still good, but not necessarily ideal. However, Exploit coming in with a nice raid over to the north. The Ravens are up for Cubay. Five Ravens are up, trying to get rid of these Glaives. That's really not the best use of them. That's where you want Phoenixes. Only five Glaives are going to go down as a result of this. And Exploit could really just go in for a very powerful attack. Getting rid of these torches as well. These torches are going to be... I think they explode, actually. I don't remember. Nope, they don't. Never mind. Not in this game, at least. They have an explosion radius on them. Wow. Okay. Wait, that could be right. I thought they did. Anyway, doesn't matter. The point is... These storages are going down. QB losing that, and I think QB's going to lose the game. I don't think there's any easy way QB's going to get out of here. Though, admittedly, I could be wrong. There could be some something that switches, but frankly, Exploit can run in for the kill. This Venom is as good as dead once the Rockers get near it. And Exploit has enough characters in their factory to be able to pump out units after units after units. Getting some Gremlins as well just to help out, but I think... I don't even know if the Gremlins are worth it, honestly. Keeping the main base is supposed to protect the commander, yes. I can see that, but otherwise, I don't know. Doesn't seem like it's worth the cost. However, Exploit way ahead economically. In fact, needs a couple more caretakers or possibly a factory switch just to use all that much money, all that metal. I mean, excessing metal, 45 metal and three caretakers with a couple of workers on top of that. And even with that, it's still excessing metal. Another factory, really. Like, go for an air switch as well or gun switch or something. Just second factory, you might as well. This stage, there's... 40 metal being pumped into the Klugobot factory, and it's almost too much at this point. However, the Venoms are stopping the Glaives. Not enough Rockos are in position. A couple of Rockos are coming in later on, but even then, one of the Venoms does go down. A couple of the Venoms stun themselves out, and it is... Well, that's another Venom gone down. A couple more Venoms left. Exploit going for another attack. That will do the trick. Okay, there we go. Going for the second attack and getting rid of the Venoms. Those Venoms are down. However, Raven's coming in to get rid of the Glaives and the Rockos. But once again, this is a bit of a waste. I'm sure Cubay is just doing this because he is being he is being nice. Or relatively nice. He is not going for a comm snipe. He's not going for a mech snipe. Like, with this many bombers, what normally you do is go for the comm snipe and then target all the mechs. Just spread fire against all the mechs. But no, just, just going for the Rockos and Glaives, which is really inefficient, all things considered. I mean, it's mildly annoying, but it is very inefficient. And actually... Gremlin as well, but that's going to go down pretty quickly. Yeah, Cubay is about to lose their commander. See, a bit surprising. Exploit not going close enough. Just get, get the commander. Exploit, you're not paying attention. Kill the commander. You're running low on units. If you attack, if you attack directly, if you move forward, why are you not moving? Arrgh. It kind of frustrates me when players aren't paying attention to the units that are on the front line. Hello, your units are on the front line. They're in combat. Focus on them. Otherwise, they're dying for nothing. They can't attack units that are in range. They're not necessarily going to attack the best target. <sighs> so yeah, Exploit being rather inefficient with that, annoyingly so. But yeah, it's like right next to it. Like, Exploit doesn't see it, I know, but still, enough units just move forward. Actually, you can see it because of the, the nano plays. And there, finally, QS Commander does go down. A little bit later than necessary. No, not even. What? Oh, come on. Exploit doesn't even go for the commander finish. And at this point, it actually does matter. Cubay, a quarter of their economy is in the... Or, sorry, a sixth of their economy is in the commander. That's not trivial. Not the biggest deal in the world, but also not trivial. So I'm just surprised that Exploit is not dealing with that. Exploit is building a lot of units. Still accessing metal. Like, still, even with the characters, another factory is necessary. But... Yeah, not... Not, unfortunately, getting rid of what they need to get rid of. And enough, there's a lot of Venoms coming in. I mean, the Warriors and Rockers are helping, but even then, it's just... These Ravens are actually becoming really annoying for exploit. This is where a air switch would be necessary. Like, air switch into Swifts. Why Why no air switch exploit? Why is there no air switch into Swifts? Like, that, as Lowry points out in the replay chat right now, if, La if x went for an air switch and went for Swifts, he would win. Anyway, I'm not mad. I'm just kind of annoyed. I find... Sorry, I just... <sighs> I don't like it when games aren't as... I don't know. It feels like the players aren't pushing as hard as they could be. 
I don't know. I, it just, it kind of annoys me because it's not as entertaining as it could be, you know? It's like, the game, okay, actually, Cuba's commander about to go down. There we go, Cuba loses their commander. 16 metal. It's like, sorry, when the game drags on, that annoys me. It's like, you know that a player could win. And I mean, admittedly, yeah, exploit doesn't necessarily know, but still, this is what exploit does know. Knows there's a dozen ravens. Knows he has, or they have most of the map under their control. Doesn't know what's going on here. This is terror incognito needed for them, but still, they could just scout that out with a couple glaives. No big deal. And they know that the ravens, okay, now they know the ravens are on this hill. They know the ravens are up here. That is where the ravens are when they're landed. All they need to do is deal with that. Like, that is what Exploit knows. Exploit knows enough to reasonably, actually just knows that there's ravens. That's what they're fighting. Go for air. Exploit knows enough to know what they need to do to win. And actually, at this stage, a couple of weavers building up defenders here to get rid of Exploit's hold on the northeast side of the map. Not sure how it's going to work out, but yeah, at this point, Exploit also just one is moving his units in single file. That is one thing to point out. Their units are being moved in single file, which is not the most efficient thing to do. Against Ravens, it makes little difference, but still, it's it does when they're Gremlins, although the Gremlins are actually clumped up, which is good. Still, well, how many Gremlins are There's quite a few Gremlins coming in. I'd say actually too many. I think there's going to be a ground switch pretty soon. Not the Spider Factor necessarily, but maybe Clothbutt Factor or something from Cube, Maybe from up here in the Northwest, but yeah, there's going to be a ground switch at some point, I think, because once enough Gremlins come in, Cube is going to go for the ground switch. Or just gonna go for the kill. I mean, with these this many ravens, a factory snipe is possible. It's more than possible. A factory snipe could very well have happened. Like I said, Cube is going easy on exploit. Cube is not not pushing exploit to their limits. Like, Cube is not doing everything they could do. Just the fact that Cube hasn't won is evidence of that at this stage. Not one period, but one given what advantages Cube has had so far, and the fact that Cube has. 18 raven or 17 ravens about to get an 18th so yeah make no mistake cube is going easy now gremlins are coming but yeah it's like yeah hell wars point like the spectators in this game that who are watching this game as it happened are pointing out this exact problem as well and cube actually starting to reclaim back into economic safety actually enough wow quite a few viewers in fact are reclaiming parts of the map there's there's a lot for them to reclaim. Cube is starting to pull back because exploit relying way too much on gremlins. When you're dealing with ravens, it's not going to work out. That really isn't going to work out. Glaives can sort of work out for the sheer numbers, but honestly, that's only going to work if you just attack everything else with glaives. But yeah, a couple ravens, that would do it. Sorry, not ravens. A couple vamps or swifts. That would do it. That would win the game for exploit. And it's not too hard of a switch. Exploit has enough of an economy to do this. However, Exploit is going to get rid of the air pad, is going to start getting rid of some of the ravens that are on the ground, which is still useful. There are, the glaives are starting to do a good job with this, but even then, it's not enough firepower, unfortunately, to do it in time. Dealing some damage here and there, which will keep the air pads in use. The gremlins coming in is a bit of a backup, but no. Just air anti-air would just finish these ravens, no problem. Since the ravens cannot target air, there's a lot of gremlins that have been built and have died trying to get rid of these ravens. I mean, right now, there are still 18 ravens. There's basically no net change in the number of ravens. And yet, there's, I don't know how many gremlin corpses, probably three or four dozen gremlin corpses at this stage in the game. Just from trying to kill off these ravens without doing a factory switch. Like, I think it looks like about 40 minutes. Like, once you're getting in one or two seconds to build a unit, build another factory, you aren't putting in enough metal into the factory. You're gonna, you're still accessing metal. Like, even though you're putting in all that metal, and you have the metal to put in, it's not being put in enough. The delay between, the delay it takes for the units to get off the platform is larger than your metal income rate. Just build another factory and use the metal for that, because at this point, exploit is, exploit is accessing metal while pushing in at 45 metal into the factory here. And having other constructions as well. Like, that's the thing. That, that doesn't work. And ultimately, it looks like Cube is just going to be able to terrify. Actually, like, Exploit is feeding Cube Metal. It's been feeding Cube Metal for the last five minutes. And not really doing anything beyond that. Like, Exploit, Exploit could have won at this stage. And now Cube, now he's going for the. Okay, going for Fusion Plant, going for the Ground Switch. Cube is going to be probably going. Maybe Heavy Crab or just. No, Venom Hermit, Redback, I don't know. 
People just going for a snipe, honestly. Just bring, yeah, bringing the Ravens out and going for probably a factory snipe. And he's scouting around, seeing what's happening, and figuring out where exploits set up. Maybe go for mech snipe, but definitely go for factory snipe. Or not even, no, just going for an economy snipe over here. Get into the mechs and the wind generators. Just destroy that entire island's worth of economy. Just rip it apart. And then find the factory and possibly destroy that too. Although losing a raven in the process. But still, I mean, that's a lot of ravens. However, the Glaive's taking advantage of this opportunity to get rid of the air pads. Unfortunately for them, the Lotuses are in play and they are in the right position as well. Those Glaives aren't going to do much. They are basically going to just flop and die. Sorry, not the Ravens. The Glaive is going to just flop and die. The Ravens are going to be able to do a lot. Although, oh, actually, no, the Glaives. Not the Glaives are the Raven friendly fire. At any rate, one of Cubase's air pads just went down. I think that might have been Glaives, actually. I think the Glaives might have actually had a, just a small enough opening getting into the repair pad. And giving Exploit a bit more of a chance, but frankly, Exploit just needs to air switch and build a few swifts, and that would do it. Exploit has had a lot of chance this game. Most of this game, Exploit's been ahead. It's only been recently that Cubay has gotten back up and gotten back in the game. So yeah, Exploit, if you're watching this, you don't need this many gremlins. If there's this many ravens, build air. Build swifts, build hawks, go for air control. Yeah, you might get an air control war, but at least your ground units have more of a chance. Especially if they build a bunch of hawks, you can just build a bunch of ground units and attack while in that window where they're vulnerable. It's a small window, but it's there. But unfortunately, the gremlins are coming in, and that will lead to, well, eventually a ground switch. <sighs> eventually, it'll lead to a ground switch. Not, not yet, not right now, but Exploit now falling behind economically, having lost the northeast side of the map, and Cubay just slowly but surely creeping down here. And not much really going in. And even with all these gremlins, it's not enough. Not against this many ravens. Remember, it's 19 ravens here. That's how many ravens there are, while there's 17 gremlins. And my experience takes about three or four gremlins. Sorry, it takes about two gremlins to beat one raven with one gremlin surviving. So, this isn't going to work out. Although a couple of ravens are going to die for free, but the rest of the ravens are going to come in here, get rid of all the gremlins once again, and that's another metal donation by Exploit to Cubay. Oh no, a couple of, oh, I'm run a couple of the gremlins do survive. But yeah, that's not really going to work out too well. And another airplane plant, I'm sorry, air pad has been built up. Still no air switch for Exploit, still obstinately insisting on going for Cloakybot factory. Cloakyun is trying to push in with that. But unfortunately, just losing too much. I mean, that one time he had the army was... That first time he could have killed the commander. If he had just advanced from there, he probably would have had a chance because there weren't that many ravens at the time and would have basically just been a march into the main base. Just attack directly. Who cares if the units die at that point? Just kill everything you can. But at this point, it's not working out. It just really isn't working out. Cubay is taking way too... It's just getting way too much resources, getting way too many units, it has so many ravens, like I said, a fax knife is possible. Cubay can just win whenever they want. At leisure. Cubay can just go and win. In fact, I'm going to speed this up slightly because that'll inevitably happen. See, enough air pads. Okay, one more air pad would repair all of the units in one go. Repair, rearm all the units in one go, and even then... Rocco's trying to get rid of these defenders over here. Not doing enough, unfortunately. Not enough units coming in to actually get rid of the defenders. There are too many defenders, and there we go. Okay, now Cubay coming in, getting rid of the southwest, all the medley charges of the southwest, and then probably going to go get rid of the main base immediately. And it doesn't even matter, because Exploit throws in the towel. And, wait, what? okay, there we go. Exploit throws in the towel, realizing there's really no way out of this, and honestly, had a chance. Rather frustratingly, did not take advantage of it. Ah... <sighs> That was... That was rather annoying. Anyway, I'll have one more game for you guys in just a moment. It'll be Flipstep and Hellwar on Desert Cliffs, so stay tuned for that. It'll be up in just a moment. <laughs> 